KMIR Sports. From the Legal Docs by Me Sports Desk, here's Julie Bueller. Everyone's watching. The NFL ratings are way down. And a lot of people say it's because of this. Well, there's no question the election had many consequences. Now, most were felt well beyond NFL ratings in the sports world, but a few were. And one we've been watching very closely is the stadium measure in San Diego. The Chargers sent their stadium proposal to the ballot in hopes of garnering enough support to increase a hotel tax and raise money to build a new downtown stadium. Well, it failed badly. So this means the team needs to decide whether they'll continue efforting towards a new stadium in San Diego or move to Los Angeles and share a stadium with the Rams. But they have to decide, get this, by January 15th. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a hard deadline imposed by the NFL. Chargers ownership, though, says no decision will be made during the season. So to add to the drama, the season ends January 1st in San Diego against the Kansas City Chiefs, giving the team two weeks to make the monumental announcement. Now, if they stay in San Diego, they have a variety of options and potential locations to get a stadium built. They'll need to compromise, though, on some matters, but the city is reportedly willing to work with them. Of course, this entire thing also impacts the Oakland Raiders. If the Chargers stay in San Diego, the Raiders can choose to move to L.A., as soon as next year. Here's where it gets really interesting. The Raiders have a loosely understood plan to move to Las Vegas, but there's a lot of unanswered questions about that concept. To do that move. By the NFL owners. So, what could happen is if the Chargers stay in San Diego, the Raiders could end up in LA. Now, there's a lot of nuance and some very interesting details, including some hiccups to put the potential Raider plans on their move to Las Vegas. And it's all at KMIR.com. But one thing we do know, the election created plenty of conversation, shall we say, even for some NFL head coaches. After President-elect Donald Trump read a letter from New England Patriots head coach Bill Bilicek at a rally on Monday, Bilicek says he received multiple requests to address it. And the typically tight-lipped coach did that today. He pointed to his long-standing friendship with Trump, denounced any political leanings, and tried to get the assembled media to focus on the Patriots' upcoming game against Seattle. Again, he did try. Coach, were you uh, happy or annoyed that Trump read the letter? Seattle. Well, your team's always been good at keeping outside distractions on the outside. Given the nature of this presidential race, Seattle. Did you find it? Seattle. Did you find it uh, helpful to talk Seattle. to players about this? If any of your players talk to you about this, Seattle. About any this. locker room rancor as a result of this? She would have gone for one more Seattle. I think the comedy really would have driven it home. Uh, the Patriots play Seattle this week, just for the record. Seattle? Seattle. Okay. In case there was anyone. All right. We'll be right back. <laughs> Closed captioning. Brought to you by.